All right, everybody, welcome back to Outer Wilds. Let's hop back in and go do some exploring. Um, I think we need to go back to the uh, Comet Interloper thing, because I think there's something else to do there. I, When I was editing, I saw um, one of the text things that said on the front side facing towards the sun that there was a crater you could go down into that I apparently missed. Um, so I need to go do that. I think I also need to go back to... Oh, it's, oh Ash Twin, because I got to go all the way to the bottom of that um, like hidden or sunless city because I didn't get to go back and do that. Um, so I need to do that too. But let's see. I think it's this way, right? It's Ash Twin. Let's go do this first. I am coming in too hot. Um, now what was the fastest way to go in here again? I don't remember. There was a cave somewhere. I don't remember seeing that before. Who is this? Can I at least land here? No? Okay, I think I can. Shirt. Goodness, it's you. Hello, I take it your first launch went well then. Welcome to the Hourglass Twins. Find the sand now. Hornfells asked me to update our star charts, so I'm out here observing. This is one of the best places in the solar system to spot astronomical events, you know. What's weird is I've actually seen a couple of supernovae today. Usually, I'd be fortunate to see just one. Keep an eye or four on the stars, and maybe you'll spot one for yourself. Uh, let's see. Just saying hi. Watch out for the falling sand, okay? I've had to dig myself out once or twice, and that's not half as fun as it sounds. Uh, what are you up to? Okay, everybody read this. My scale of one to dead, I'd give it a seven or eight. Awfully, uh, awfully pretty though. Right now, sand is flowing from Ash Twin to Ember Twin, but did you know the process eventually reverses? We're not completely sure why the sand flows back and forth between the twins, but it seems to be a natural phenomenon. Oh, if you'd like to see something interesting, check out the other twin once a little more of its sand drains off. I promise you won't be disappointed. Ooh. To be honest, I haven't left this lake bed. I didn't mean to brag, but I'm really quite good with this little, with the little scout, so I've been taking pictures of everything from right here in my campsite. Have you seen the old shipwreck site on Ember Twins' southern hemisphere? One shooting a bright beam of light into the sky. It's not one of our own crashes, surprisingly enough. This one's a Nomai ship. You'll find Nomai ruins across the Twins, but strangely not a single settlement. Believe me, if there was one to see, I'd have seen it with my little scout. So where did they live? Not on the surface, clearly. Ember Twin is full of cave systems, though. Maybe the answer lies underground. Right now, I'm documenting stars. Hornfels noticed our star charts are out of date, so they asked me to update them. Please don't tell the others I said this, but sometimes I think the only traveler out here interested in doing any science at all. Oh, I think I'm the only traveler out here interested. Okay. Or maybe don't tell Hornfels either. I think they're pretty deep in denial. Supernova, supernovae look like extra bright stars to the naked eye, but if you zoom in with your signal scope, you can tell that they're actually enormous explosions. Uh, 
Massive stars go supernova at the very end of their lifespans, which is why it's so unusual to see two in a single day. I wonder if some of these stars are older than we realized. Please do tell. Hmm. How fascinating. It might interest you to know the existence of an additional planet is entirely plausible. If you look at the physics of our solar system, it would just have to be incredibly far out there, farther than Parthian ships would be able to travel. And honestly, we don't know all that much about what's out there. The farther you go, the less we know. As such, it's well within the realm of possibility such a planet exists. I wasn't done with you. Oh yes, everyone loves a good mystery, don't they? Who wouldn't wonder about a moon that's sometimes there and sometimes not? I've observed the quantum moon orbiting each of the five planets, but sometimes it quite simply disappears from the sky altogether. Maybe there's another place it travels to. Unfortunately, if there is, I've never seen it. Perhaps if I take a closer look at these star charts. Do we have star charts somewhere that we can look at? Or is it just in the map? I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so that's just his thingy. So I don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's go in here. Buckle up, Buttercup. Okay. Uh, actually, what is down below him? Okay, nothing. Just death, maybe? Oh, well, maybe there is something down there. I'm going to destroy this ship. Oh, maybe there is. Oh. Oh. I think my graphics card just had a hiccup. Let me try to remedy that. Hmm. Guess it was just having a little hiccup. like I'm still recording fine. Guess we'll find out later. Ooh. God dang, it's dark down here. Oh, too late. Damn. Okay, well, let's restart so we can redo this again and run this. Meow. Oh, shit. What is this? Where's the guy? Here we go. I want to go see what's down in here.
I want to see which way this leads. Nowhere, maybe? Shit, maybe it doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, it doesn't lead anywhere. No! Shit. Okay, well... Time loop ruined. assume that doesn't lead anywhere. I do know... Oh, well, that doesn't actually lead anywhere either, I don't believe. Uh, oh wait. Is this unlocked here now? Oh no, it's not. Shit, I forgot where the uh, fast way down was. I thought it was somewhere near here. You know what? Okay. Where's the twin? So they've got... Stuff on here to explore too. You've got to wait for the stuff to go down. The sand to continue to go down. Question is, is how fast is it actually going down? Eh. Not super fast. I don't really know if it's necessary to... Oh wait, there's something up here though. It's just a landing pad maybe? Oh no, it's something to bring you back up to the top is what it is. See the quantum moon. Son of a bitch. Oh, I can make it back. Okay, great. Oh, that thing keeps pushing the... You fucking serious. Okay, what's over here?
that's going to be for down in there. Which I don't think I can get to yet. Almost. Hi, friends visiting from the Hanging City. City, we are planning the Ash Twin project at the High Energy Lab on Ember Twins. Equator. I became lost on Ember Twin. My gratitude that Raimi found me, but the High Energy Lab is the building with the large solar panels. I'm surprised I didn't see it. I imagine our otherwise immensely clever Connor would lose his own head if we weren't. Uh, oh, I already read that. Did I come here before? Am I just like dumb? Not remember this this shit. What is that? Hmm. Oh no. Ooh. Maybe I did come to this thing already. It looks very familiar. I really wonder what what's on this underneath that. Oh, there's just, there's just multiple of them. Time has passed since I checked in with you, Pi. How are you in a day of progressing with the Sun Station plans? Presently, my system is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. Pi, uh, you know I don't find it funny. Hypothesis. Time spent away from the station would be beneficial to you both. I've read all this before, I think. Interesting. Oh shit. Explosions. Oh, I can use this to get up actually. getting faster because we're getting closer to the sun must be oh I am no longer on ash twin I am on ember twin now which did I explore this I think I did fairly certain I did Okay.
does this actually lead any to anything? Just back over to here where I've already been. The things I've already read. Apparently. That's just to get that. Did I go in here yet? Oh, I can't. Oh, there's something important in here I actually need to read. I've got to get down below. Ooh, that was close. I am almost out of fuel, which is a problem. Huh. my damn ship back. Okay. Let's fly out of the path of this friggin' thing. But I need to go back to the other planet. Where are you? There it is. How do I get into... How do I get into that building? Oh, my bad. Oh. Where is the entry point? I do not see, said the blind man. Oh, wait, is that on the back side right here? Is that it? Oh, it is, but I can't get in there, though. So is there another entrance somewhere? Like a secret entrance at this place that leads over there or something? Ow. I'm going to destroy this ship eventually. I need to get out and repair this damn thing. Not again.
Let me look at the right one again. Fuck, I'm looking at the wrong one, aren't I? Yet again, there's... Actually, wait a minute. Okay, there's another place revealed now. Over here. How the hell do you get into this place? I don't understand. I figured there would be like an underground entrance somewhere. Like underneath here that led up in. See nothing. Hmm. Got a frickin' damn clue. you could have gotten out that does me no good Doesn't lead anywhere. Yeah, that's where I need to get into, but how do you get in there? Yep, and it's about to explode.
Okay, well, this was a solid 25 minutes wasted. Okay, let's go to Ember Twin this time and see if... Figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. I need another, like, weapon, like, tool to be able to move stuff or something. Unless I'm just forgetting that... I can do something with what I've already got. I don't know. I just feel like I don't have the tools to be able to move uh, those spiky things. Not where I want. It's not there either. That's what I want right there. Technically, there's a better way to get there, but I don't remember. So we're going to take the long way, unfortunately. Get over there. If I felt really confident, I would just fly across that, but I don't feel confident doing that. I took a wrong turn for a second. I was like, wait, is my memory failing me? Interesting that there's a gravity under underground. I mean, that probably sounds really stupid, but we are closer to the core of the freaking planet, so yes, of course there would be more gravity underneath. But okay, I need to go to the bottom. I have not been in here yet. This is the high energy lab. Oh, okay. This is where I have not been yet. Follow the cable. Fuck. Hmm. So can I not get through that? Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me right now? force my way through that? How the hell am I supposed to get through this then?
I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Is it this way? This is just leading me back up. Yeah. to wait until it starts going back the other direction maybe that's what I'm supposed to do but I feel like it doesn't go back the other direction I feel like it just keeps filling this one up and then the sun explodes so unless I can make time go backwards man I really feel like I'm hitting a brick wall with this game right now gone through here already. Yeah, I can't get in the bottom anymore. That's long gone. This is where I normally would, normally would come in. Where is it? Uh, it doesn't lead anywhere. Here that I came through. Yeah, it was. Uh, but it's down here is long gone. Damn. Oh, I think that was it right there. Underneath there. Okay, how the hell do I access the high energy lab then? Doesn't make sense. Yeah, I need to figure out how to get by the anglerfish. Oh, I think I just need to turn my lights off. Is that what it is, maybe? Too late. Hmm. This isn't Stepping Stone Cave, right? Oh, it is. Shit. Fuel level critical. Well, we're gonna die anyway, so. Get where the entrance to this was. Shit. 
shit. That's where I came in. Damn it. I think I just got completely turned around. Yep, I did. God damn it. Okay. energy lab because that's completely just blocked off. So where do I freaking go then? Okay, where did I need to go to again? Oh, the interloper. Let's go to the interloper. I just saw the thing. Uh, it's getting further away from me. They said that there was a place to go down into it, right? The sunward facing side. Hmm. Well, unless those cracks are... Yeah, no, you can't actually go down in there. Anything underneath? Maybe if I recall that ship first, maybe that opens up something. Hmm. Maybe I had to like go inside it. Oh, are things melting? I think it's melting. Aha. Uh -huh.
Oh, it's a very short window. Damn. Okay. So you gotta be like ready. Okay. So it very quickly melts for about <laughs> five seconds. Now, I don't know which side or where you're supposed to be to get into it. But clearly we are supposed to. And they said it was on the front side facing the sun. So I don't know, we're gonna land here again. We're just gonna get out here and wait. We're gonna see what happens. I can't tell if it's adding. No, it's not adding any ice right now. Definitely being pushed around. Where's the sun? Oh, there's the white hole thingy. I actually don't even know. Oh, we are nowhere even close. So does it only make one rotation? before it explodes? I don't know. Are we to the sun? Not very. Okay, well, we're gonna continue to wait, guys. Ooh, it's circling Timber Hearth right now. Interesting. There's the sun. Okay, when's it gonna start melting? I'm just gonna stand here and see what happens. It definitely melts. Aha. Uh -huh. Receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. 
Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, close to the comet's center, and I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Log updated though. Hmm. So is there something I need to like obtain to like stay alive? Do I need to fly the sh can't fly the ship down in there, so Hmm. I don't know. Kinda wanna go do that again though, at some point. For now. I'm going to have to end the episode, though. Um, I've got a few things i got to get done. And i got to get ready for bed at some point soon. So, I know this episode is probably very boring to watch because I accomplished absolutely shit in this episode. But, I guess that's just the name of this game. Sometimes you can figure it out, sometimes you're not. So, I hope you got a little bit of enjoyment out of watching it. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. Have a great day.